G'day guys and girls, how you going? It's your boy Jable1990 and welcome to a Pixelmon installation tutorial. This is for Pixelmon 1.7.2 or if you prefer the actual new update of Pixelmon, I think it's 3.1.4. Um, now this is to be compatible now with Minecraft 1.7.2 and I think it's going to be compatible when Forge releases, if they do release, um, a a new patch for 1.7.10 sorry I should say Pixelmon I'm sorry when Pixelmon when they make their new update for 1.7.10 this will work as well it's a brand new way of doing it and it's actually become very easy it's actually nearly automatic uh, a lot of these old tutorials that you watch on YouTube they you know it's it's Minecraft and Forge and JAR files and JSON files, uh, they're moving in towards the future, which is a very good thing in my opinion. Uh, a lot of the tutorials you might have seen on YouTube require you to have WinRAR and, and, you know, have folders like this and right-click them and unzip them and, you know, have all this technical stuff and go into your percent app data percent and all that kind of stuff. It's become a lot easier, a lot more automatic, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, so the only thing you're going to need are these two files. That's honestly all you're going to need. We're going to get to them in just a second. The very first thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run the Minecraft version 1.7.2, because that's the version we're going to be installing Forge on. I already have Forge installed. As you can see, I'm going to keep that window here. I'll uh, just make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see. See down the bottom left here how it says Forge. I've already had Forge in here because I, uh, you know, my last tutorial video was for Optifine. If any, if any of you guys want to go check that out, I'm going to delete this just so it doesn't actually get confusing. Okay, I don't want this to be confusing for anybody. So we're going to start off fresh. So here, this is what your screen should look like, something similar. And then what you want to do is just come down here and click Edit Profile, and then you want to click this click this little drop down version where it says use version and uh, you know you should if you're playing on the latest version it will be it'll either look like this or look like 1.7.10 just come down and choose 1.7.2 okay just choose 1.7.2 and then click save profile now just hit play and then what that's going to do is it's going to load up see how this is here downloading LWJGL it's downloading the 1.7.2 jar and it's going to run Minecraft and that's going to be very very important okay this is the very first thing you want to do do not skip this step it's very important that you do this okay guys so once that's done it's just going to load up Minecraft just like normal nothing new nothing fancy nothing different just plain old Minecraft 1.7.2 but this is this is what Forge is going to be running off I just want you guys to pay attention here see down the bottom left Minecraft 1.7.2 that means that you've done it correctly and that's going to come important in just a second so once that's done you just want to quit the game I know that, that gets a little bit confusing but you'll see why in just a second so what we're going to want to do now is install Forge. The very first link in the description of this video, if you click this link, it's going to bring you to this web page, Minecraft Forge Downloads. Uh, now, the very top section that you're going to see here, I want you to completely ignore it, okay? Actually, this part that I'm going to highlight, just to try to make this tutorial a little bit easier, this part I'm going to highlight, you want to, you want to ignore all of that. Okay, all of this, just scroll down, skip all of that until you see this part here. You want to see 1.7.2 because this is what Forge works with. This should work all the way up to 1.7.9. So if your Pixelmon server runs off 1.7.9, this should still work. But you definitely want to make sure that you're looking at 1.7.2. Okay, and now the this actual version that we're going to want to select is this very top one right here. This is going to be the latest version of Forge, and you do need the latest version of Forge for this to work. Otherwise, it will not work. So if you're like, oh, I already have, I already got Forge installed on my computer, I'll just use that. Don't do that. Don't skip this step. Come to 10.12.2.1147 for 1.7.2. This exact one, unless, you know, if you guys are watching this six months down the line and they've got a new update, then, you know, there'll be a different version here. Now, you're going to see all these little blue links here. All you want to do is click installer. Obviously, I've already downloaded this, but I'm going to do it again to prove to you guys that it's safe. I know AdFly can be a little bit confusing. Uh, what's on screen right now, see this ad, three steps to upgrade your drivers? Don't pay attention to any of that. Promise me, guys. Uh, I promise you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, th this is just an ad. Don't click any of it. With AdFly, see up the top right here? Usually it comes with a counter. It will say skip ad in five seconds, four, three. It'll count down. And then this yellow tab will come up. You want to click that. Don't click anything on the screen here. Click skip ad. Click that. And then what that's going to do is redirect you. And see, it says here, 
This type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep Forge 1.7.2 anyway? Click keep. I'm going to click keep again, even though I've already got it downloaded. As you can see, if I hover over it there, you can see installer brackets four. That means I've installed Forge four more times. I'm going to drag it onto my desktop, which is what you guys want to do. Uh, obviously, I already have it here, but I just want to show you guys that it's completely safe. Uh, and it shouldn't come with any viruses. And if you want to be that pedantic about it, scan it with your antivirus software. And I, I promise you guys, this will come up clean. It will come up completely clean. No threats found. Awesome. So I'm just going to delete this because, look, I've already got it right here this is the exact same version of what we want okay now what we're going to want to do next is ins install and down download and install the Pixelmon 1.7.2 3.1.4 jar so the second link in the description of this video we can actually uh, close this down now is going to bring you to this web page or you can just go to pixelmonmod.com forward slash downloads and this is where it's going to redirect you Okay, now from this web page, where you want to be directed is right here, this highlighted version. Okay, as you can see, the very top version, Pixelmon 3.1.4, is the one that we are after. All the ones below it, all of these ones, are the older versions. It's very similar to the way that Forge works. We want the latest one. So this one here that was released on the 12th of July 2014, Forge Link, this is the one that we want. Okay, so you're going to come over here to the right where it says links and you're going to click download. Now you just click that. I'm going to do it again, even though I have this installed. I'm not going to download it all the way through again because it does take a while depending on your download speed. My download speed isn't the greatest. So you're going to click skip ad. Just don't, again, don't worry about anything that's on the screen here. I can't stress that enough. And now this one's going to count down. See this red tab? Nine seconds. Don't be tempted by all the flashy little pop-ups that you get, even if it says you've won one million dollars. It's trust me, it's not real. <laughs> so once it goes zero, yeah, you go. It'll go green. Click download, and you're gonna see it's gonna start down here. Oh, there we go. It brings you actually to Mediafire. Click download. It's 187.82 megabytes. Pixelmon is pretty big. Now, the one thing I will say, when you click it, it will come up with a pop-up window here. As you can see, it says online casino games. Make sure that you be very careful. Don't click anything on the screen and just click close. Just close that right down. As you can see down the bottom left here, it says the same thing. This type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep it anyway? Yes, we want to keep. It is 100% safe, guys. I promise you that. Because I've already downloaded, it looks like it's done it really fast again. So I'm going to drag this onto my desktop again. Just to prove it to you guys I really don't want you I really want you guys to be able to trust me on this okay so once that's done so you can see 1.7 it's the exact same thing I'm just going to delete this one uh, because I already have it awesome now here's where it gets a little bit technical but it at any point during this video if it gets confusing just pause it if you leave this video a like or even add it to your favorites it's going to help you come back to this video in the future if you do need the help for it so what we're going to want to do is we need to get into our Minecraft folders. Some of you guys might be brand new to this. Some of you guys might know how to do it. It's the old percent app data percent trick. So you're going to come down here to st your start button and you're going to type in percent app data percent. That's percent A P P D A T A percent. Hit enter. Now that's going to come up here with your dot Minecraft folder. Just uh, if you if you know how to do this, just click your window and drag it all the way to the left until you see it like do that. You see how it's doing like that little animation? Just do that and that's just going to make it like half of a window. You can just do it manually. Just minimize this for a second. Come to your desktop, right click anywhere on your desktop uh, and do new folder. And you're going to want to name this whatever you want. I'm just going to do this Minecraft backup. Now, this is very important, guys. You have to do this, okay? Make sure you don't lose this folder. That's why I always say to people, keep it on your desktop. You do not want to lose this folder. So come back into your .minecraft and you're just going to want to uh, right click this and click copy okay now you're going to want to come into your minecraft backup folder which is going to be on the right hand side here it's completely empty and we're going to paste that in there so that's going to take quite a while to paste but that's completely fine you just want to make sure that you paste it and you just you can close it down again once it's done so you just you want to paste it and just make a backup of your minecraft what that's going to do is if this screws up if something goes wrong and you're like oh my god i've just you know screwed up my minecraft come back into this percent app data folder click this and then just delete it you're just going to delete it add it to your trash can and then just come back into your minecraft backup folder the one here and you're just going to drag this back into it that's only if it goes wrong Okay, so now you guys can see that we actually have a, uh, a backup of our Minecraft folder. Awesome. So now, we're going to double click this .minecraft folder. And as you can see, we want these little, uh, we want to start to edit these things, okay? First thing we're going to want to do 
is we're going to right click down the bottom on a blank spot here and create new folder. The folder that we're going to name it is mods, M-O-D-S, no capital letters, no spaces, just mods, okay? This should be completely empty. Uh, now, once that's done, you want to grab your Pixelmon. Don't worry about Forge, we're going to do that in just a second. Click Pixelmon and you want to drag that into the mods folder. Okay, now before you go any further, just double make sure you double click check in this mods folder. As you can see here, do you see how it says executable jar file? That means that it's worked correctly. If you guys do this on Windows 7 or Windows 8 and it doesn't say executable jar file, it means that when you dragged it in, it didn't do it properly, or something went wrong when you like dragged it from your from your downloads here onto your desktop, it means that it didn't work properly. So just redo that again if that's the case. But if that's all good, that's all good. You can close this down now. You don't need this anymore. Awesome. So now you can see the Pixelmon uh, jar file is now gone. That's ready to go, but not just yet. Now we want to install Forge. So all you're going to want to do is, just to be safe, you can double click this, but just right click it. And you can, you can if you want to, do open with Java TM Bion platform SE binary. This is just to be safe guys. Sometimes for some weird reason if you're running, running like a 32-bit version of uh, Windows sometimes this can be very buggy so just right click it go to open with and go Java TM platform SE binary and it will load up just like normal. So take a couple of seconds here and it should it should come up with this little window. Now if it just automatically comes up with saying install client that's completely fine. If it comes up saying like if it's already clicked on one of these like extract or install server just make sure that you click install client make sure install client is selected and then hit OK. It only takes like five seconds and it should say successfully installed client profile forge for forge version 10.12.2.1147. Awesome. Click OK. Alrighty, now we are on the home stretch. This is the last step you guys need to do. So now that you've installed Forge, you can just do whatever you want with it. Keep it in a safe place. You could even drag it into your Minecraft backup folder. It's always a very handy place to keep it. Now, open up your Minecraft. Now, this is where it's going to take a little while. I will cut this video here because it does take quite a while. Load up Minecraft, but don't click play yet. Don't, cl don't click it. I know it's a big, fat very seducive button but don't click it just yet we want to come down here to the left hand side where it says profile with a little drop box click that now you can see that it says forge you want to click that just once now you're going to have to log back in again because it's installed a new jar file that's completely fine it has to download the new jar and json files so now if we have a look on the right hand side here it says welcome jable ready to play minecraft 1.7.2 forge 10.12.2.1147 awesome before we do that, just to make sure, just to double check, we want to click this drop box, make sure we have Forge selected, click Edit Profile. Now, as you can see here, it's the complete version that we want. If we grab this jar file back out, or we can actually keep it in there. I'll just do this for a quick second. You can see in the Profile Editor, it says Release Forge 1.7.2. 10.12.21147. Over here in the installer, it's 12.2. 10.12.2.1147. Oh, that's a tongue tie. That's completely fine. So if that says that, then that means that it's working completely fine. The other thing that you can do is come up here to the profile editor and see that Forge is actually running the version of 10.12.2. Whatever version it is. If that's the case, then you're completely fine. Fine. Click play, and now this is where it does take a while, even really depending on how good your internet speed is, it has to download Forge. Because I've already done this though, it's very quick for me, it does, it's like no time at all. But for you guys doing it for your very first time, trust me, it is going to take a little while, okay? So, after that's done though, after it downloads, it should start up just like how my Minecraft is right now. Completely normal, completely fine, and guess what guys? Look down the bottom left. Remember how I told you to keep an eye on that before? Minecraft 1.7.2 MCP FML Minecraft Forge 10.12.2.1147. Four mods have loaded, four mods active. <laughs> Give yourselves a pat on the back. Minecraft Pixelmon has worked. The way that you can test it is come in and test on a Pixelmon server. I'm going to be playing on the Pixelmon server that I usually play on and record all my videos on. Click done. Now, as you can see, once this wants to load up, my internet wants to be wants to be nice to me. As you can see, Pokeballer's hub actually works and is connecting with 1.7.2. Let me join it just to show you guys that it is actually legit. I don't think my Minecraft's in full screen mode. 
but whatevs. How exciting is this? So much easier than all the previous versions of um, of Pixelmon. This is so much better. As you can see, I am a donator and everything on this on this uh, server. It's a fantastic uh, Pixelmon. So if you guys want to come check it out, the IP is mc.pokeballers.com. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and hopefully Pixelmon works for you. Any dramas or anything that's going wrong, be sure to post them in the comment section of this video and just ask around in the comments. I'm sure somebody will help you out. But like I said, if you need any help referring back to this tutorial at any stage, I recommend leaving this video a like or sharing it or adding it to your favorites so you can always come back to it in the future. If this video did help you out, be sure to share it around with your friends and leave this video a like as these videos do take a long while to make and I do put a lot of effort into all of my videos. Hopefully this works for you guys. Come on in and enjoy some Pixelmon. It's absolutely amazing that the update is working now. And do you know what the best part is? Pixelmon can now work with 1.7.2 shaders, which I might do an uh, installation tutorial next. Uh, I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys want to see that? <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like if it did. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys for the next tutorial video.